two pieces that will fit together like a glove. So my friend Lucifer Bob recently got his first 3D printer to supplement his cosplay builds, and he tweeted that he wanted to learn how to uh, cut down bigger pieces to fit on a small printer before, you know, he's able to get a bigger printer. I got you, fam. Now, for this example, I'm going to be using 3D Builder. This is just a regular Windows program. It comes with Windows. Uh, it's totally free. I mean, you're going to be able to do the same sort of thing with pretty much any 3D program. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Goblin Paint Butler. So I got this guy right here. I'm going to click on him. Um, millimeters, right. Import model. Beautiful. To start with, I'm going to make sure I put him at 0, 0, X, Y. This is just going to simplify things uh, if when I need to realign them later. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come into object, edit, and we are going to split the boy. Let's say we're going to split them right there. Sounds great. But I want to keep both parts because I do want to make use of both parts. So we'll go ahead and hit split. And it's going to slice object by plane. Beautiful. Now I've got two separate objects. Now what I want to do is take just the top part. So I'm going to deselect the bottom. X is zero, right? So I know I just got to put X at zero. So right now let's just slide him off of there. Now I need to create my key because I could just do this, right? I could just slice him in two and try to print these two pieces, but then I'm going to have a problem sliding them back on perfectly. The seam is going to be a little off. It's going to, it's going to be crappy. So we want to put a key on there. So now we're going to insert an object. Let's go with a pyramid, right? Um, we'll get this out of there over here and make sure this is my only object selected. And we're going to go ahead and split this as well. Uh, but for this one, we are only going to keep the bottom. And now we're going to scale this to a size that's actually going to fit. Take that, that looks good. Now we'll move it into place. And we want to get it so that it is merged in, but poking out of our goblin. Fantastic. We only want it poking out of the top. We don't want it poking out of anywhere else. Now that we've got these two here, uh, I will go ahead and select both the bottom piece and my little key. And I will go back over to object. Nope, I will go to edit and I will merge them. Merging, merging, merging. We wait, we wait, we wait. What it's doing is it's turning these two objects into one object. It's remeshing the whole thing. So sometimes that takes a minute. There's some graphical processing there going on. All right, cool. Now that that's all done, we are going to deselect this whole piece and go ahead and select our goblin top. We know that we only moved it on the uh, x-axis, so we can just go ahead and hit zero there and boop, slides it back over into place. Now we deselect the top, we reselect the bottom, and up here in the edit menu, we have this button right here, subtract. The only parts intersecting right now. Wait, actually, stop, cancel. Before we do that, we wanna make sure that we make a, uh, we're gonna make a copy and paste the bottom piece. Put it over here for now. Okay, now we'll select the bottom and hit subtract. It's kind of nice that these things take a while to process because it gives you a chance to stop it before it's finished if you almost made a mistake. Now, the only parts that are intersecting between this bottom piece that we've built out and the top piece are that key. So when we subtract the bottom piece from the top piece, the only thing that's gonna cut out is the keyhole. Ta-da! See that? Keyhole will fit right into the key. Look at that. Two pieces that will fit together like a glove after they're printed. So Lucifer Bob, I hope that helps you and anyone else who needed to know this, I hope that helps you as well. Let me know if there's any other specific 3D printing tips you need.